All right, let's continue with this problem. We need to find our constant C1 and C2. So if we look at our diagram, our diagram up here, we know that at x equals 0, the slope is equal to 0 because this is a fixed end. And so that's, at, that's one boundary condition. Um, you also know that x equals 0, the deflection is equal to 0, right? Um, because there's a fixed end here and there's no settlement, um, so there's not going to be any deflections here at point A. So let's actually use these conditions uh, to figure out what C1 and C2 are. So um, let's look at equation 2 first. Um, at x equals 0, the deflection is equal to 0, right? That's one of our boundary conditions. So let's actually take this and plug it into equation 2 to figure out what the constants are. So if I did that, um, if I plugged in x equals 0, y equals 0 um, into equation 2, um, I'm going to get ei times 0 is equal to negative pl zero squared over two plus p times zero to the third uh, over six plus c one times zero plus c two. Uh, all of these terms are zero, the left side zero, so that means c two is equal to zero. There is one of our constants, c two um, is equal to zero. Now, we also said that at x equals 0, the slope is equal to 0, the slope um, of the deflected shape. And if I drew the deflected shape, it would look something, I'm sorry, let me read out of that a little bit better. Back, 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 okay. So you'd have this and then it'd come down, right? And this here is a 90 degree angle, uh, the elastic curve or the deflected shape and this fixed stand. Um, so at C2, I'm sorry, at point A, um, the slope is equal to 0. So at x equals 0, the slope is equal to 0. We can actually use this boundary condition and plug it into equation 1. Equation 1, so let's do that. We have EI times dy dx, and dy dx, remember, is equal to your slope, um, 0 is equal to negative p l x x is 0 plus p 0 squared um, over 2 uh, plus c 1. So if this is 0, this is 0, and this is 0, that means c 1 is equal to 0. So constant 1 is equal to 0 and constant 2 is equal to 0. That actually makes things a lot more easy. Um, so our final equation, so equation 1 uh, it turns into dy dx, equation 1 right here, dy dx is equal to negative plx over ei, right, I'm bringing the ei back, uh, plus px squared over 2, plus c1, and c1 is 0. So this is our equation for our theta, or our slope, or our rotation. Now, for our deflection equation, which is equation 2 right here, I'm going to get y is equal to uh, negative pl x squared over 2 uh, ei, right, I'm bringing the ei back, oh, and there should be an ei here too, sorry about that, plus p x cubed over 6ei and then you have plus c1x but since c1 is 0 then this whole term becomes 0 uh, so it's plus 0 and then plus c2 and that's also equal to 0 so 0 so really I'm just gonna actually erase that wow big eraser big big eraser okay so this is our equation for our deflection y. Deflection y. So if I wanted to uh, figure out what 
uh, theta b and the deflection at b was, I can just look at my diagram. Um, b is located at the very end of the beam, or at x is equal to l. I can plug in x is equal to l into these equations to figure out what the slope at b is and what the deflection at b is. So why don't we do that for practice? So into this first equation, this dy dx, um, theta b is equal to negative p l x, x is equal to l, right? Over e i plus p x squared, and x is l, so l squared, over 2 e i. And if I uh, simplified this down a bit, I get negative p l squared over e i plus p l squared over 2 e i. Okay? And if I combine these two terms together, I should get negative p l squared over 2 e i. Okay? So this is our slope at b. And our deflection at b, again, we can plug in x is equal to l. We'll get negative p l x squared, x squared, or x is l, right? Uh, over 2 e i plus p times x cubed, x is l cubed over 6 e i. Uh, we can simplify this down a bit. p l cubed over 2 e i plus p l cubed over 6 e i. Uh, and if you combine these two terms together, uh, you should get negative p l cubed over 3 e i. So this is the deflection at b. Uh, it's negative, it's going down, right? Negative p l cubed over 3 e i. All right, so hopefully that cleared up a few more questions for you guys.